Hey there, industrialist. Cougar here, checking back in on the fun little industry logistics game, Rise of Industry. The developers have continued working on this game, uh, even though it has it reached 1.0, and they've made some significant improvements that make it a lot more playable and a lot more enjoyable, I think, in my opinion. Also, a lot more accessible for new players. So I'm actually going to... Well, I don't really have to pause. I'm just going to leave it on slow speed for now uh, to show you what I've got set up already. So I started the game in a region, Kansas City, that had an ironmongery requesting steel products, steel plates, steel barrels, and cans. Fortunately, this region also has iron ore, two iron ore deposits, and a coal deposit down here. So these guys are spewing out the coal and the pollution. These guys are spewing out the iron ore and the pollution, and they're bringing the iron ore and the coal to my steel factories down here, where we're making steel plates, uh, steel barrels, and cans, and selling them all in Kansas City at the Ironmongery. This is my bread and butter. This is the first thing I set up, well, the second thing really, but uh, the first thing I set up to get some revenue coming in. Uh, the the Really, the first, very first thing I set up were these sheep farms over here. Uh, crop farm growing wheat to feed to the sheep, which will then turn out mutton and wool, which are being sold at the farmer's market and farmer's market and hardware store, respectively. So the mutton's going here, and the wool's going there, and you see we've got lots of wool. We're actually selling too much wool. We've lowered demand by oversupplying them with wool, but not much we can do about that right now. What you're seeing here with the uh, ground getting white is another newish addition, uh, which is seasons. There are really only two seasons, summer and winter. Uh, would have been lovely to have like a nice autumn look going on here too, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine for this indie, wonderful indie game, which is not expensive at all. Uh, of course, to supply our crop fields and our livestock farms, we needed water. So we've got two water siphons down supplying them with water. The water is going to the warehouse where, that it's being shift, shipped out to the farms. So we've got, we've got uh, two livestock farms or maybe three apparently. Yeah, I've got two up here one and two and then down here we've got another one being fed by another crop farm and all that stuff's being sold in town uh, but what I was hoping to catch for you guys which didn't happen because I screwed up was this town leveling up so this town just leveled up and there were fireworks just pretend there were fireworks pew, 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 pew. pretty fireworks right and the town has leveled up and what I chose as its next store was a grocery store and so that's what the new construction that we're going to do today is going to be focused around, around these grocery products. So we can, they're demanding soup, which is made with vegetables. And uh, as always, we're looking for overlap, right? So in terms of what we can sell. So our farmer's market is, also, is demanding raw vegetables to sell. Our grocery store is demanding soup, which is made with vegetables. So that is definitely going to be something that we pursue right off the bat. Uh, the farmer's market is demanding oranges, and the grocery store is demanding orange juice. Perfect. Nice little overlap there. The farmer's market's demanding apples. The grocery store is demanding apple smoothies. Another overlap. We're really rocking on the overlaps here. The farmer's market is demanding olives. And the grocery store is demanding olive oil. Another overlap. That's four awesome overlaps for us to exploit in our quest for world domination or at least a profitable industry. My, my industries are profitable right now. If you look down here in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see that my total uh, bank balance right now is 11 million. Uh, I've, I've actually, that's, half of that is the result of a $5 million loan I took out that I can now repay in full if I wanted to. My last month's income was $360,000 in coming in. And so far this month, we're earning $191,000. So next on our agenda, now I've already put down a crop field growing vegetables here. And those vegetables are being sold at the farmer's market in town. And we're sending some to the warehouse just for safekeeping if as needed. But what we need to do now is start thinking about turning those vegetables into soup. To do that, we're going to need soup factories and a recycling 
plant, an air pollution uh, plant to manage those. So let's go down here to factories. We need a preservation factory, makes chicken soup. We'll put one of those, actually let's not put it right next to the crop so that we don't pollute them. Uh, and we'll put down one, let's put down maybe two. R to rotate once you've selected something. And then we need to go to the pollution tab, select an air purifier and put that down as well. And then link them all up with some urban roads. Um, that's Q to rotate. Q or E to rotate. And let's see, one vegetable farm will probably easily supply two of those uh, soup factories. Let's do a third one. I'm going to hit X to copy that one. Put down a third one. And then R for my roads. And now we've got roads. And hopefully our trucks are bringing vegetables from the warehouse. They are. And water from our water siphons. And dropping them off the preservation factory. It's now making soup. This one is anyway. The other one two will in just a second. But that's not going to be, that's going to use up most of our vegetables and we may need more than that. But let me show you one of the fantastic innovations that uh, the developers have made now. So getting stuff delivered used to be kind of a, a multi-click process. You had to click, 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 click a bunch of times to get your stuff where you wanted it to go. Not so anymore. Now I just click on the preservation factory, click destinations, change this to manual choose a destination now i just click wherever i want this stuff delivered which is the grocery store click on the grocery store and there you go it's being sent to the grocery store now i can just copy that but just to demonstrate again switch from auto to manual on destinations click that the destination and click the grocery store boom you're done that's it easy easy squeezy lemon peasy i don't think that's how that goes all three of my soup factories are now shipping to the grocery store. And we'll start seeing the results of that soon. Let's actually click on the grocery store, see if there's any coming in yet. Nope. Still fully demanded. But next, why don't we get some olive fields down and start producing olive oil? So to do that, we're going to go to farms. Click on a an, an orchard. Uh, olives are grown on trees. I'm just going to put them just off the road here. And then some olive orchards. Uh, not within owner's range. Okay. Okay. I hooked that up with a road. R for the roads. Now we're growing olives. Now we'll make use of this existing air purifier to set up our olive oil factories there. Uh, the orchard is just waiting for water. It just hasn't gotten any water yet. Speaking of which, we can also, if I've researched it... Oh, we're still researching the olive oil, so I can't do anything with that yet. But let's see if I can build something to help. I'll build an irrigation tower to help supply all these farms around here with water. I'm going to put that right... Oh, I've got a perfect place for it right here next to the warehouse. Isn't the snow nice? The snow's pretty. So now this, what this irrigation tower is going to do is it's going to obviate the need for trucks shipping water. All water will now be shipped to these farms. That farm and that farm and this farm through underground pipes and they will no longer require trucks to deliver water to any of these farms as long as there is a water siphon within range so if i click on the irrigation tower it tells me that there are actually two water siphons within range so it's that's supplying the irrigation tower with water and then here's the if i click on the outgoing products it shows me that it is supplying crop farm one livestock farm three and livestock farm one and crop farm one and orchard one okay uh so now we kind of have to we, we have to wait until our olive oil research let me go to the research tech tree real, real quick so we are researching the olive oil we've already researched the olives after that, we've got some logistics stuff uh, to unlock, and then we're going to unlock flour, and then we're going to unlock dough. 
So we're going to use flour to make dough, both of which are being demanded in town, as well as vegetables and soup, uh, olives and olive oil, and some other stuff. Uh, going more stuff that we need to research now, we go to the drinks tab. Next, we need to research apples and apple smoothies and oranges and orange smoothies or orange juice. Those are going to be the next things that we can craft and sell in town for big bucks. Big bucks. Big industrial bucks. We probably have enough water to go around here, but I'll bet we're right on the edge. Uh, these two water siphons are supplying one, two, three, four, five farms and the preservation factories making soup. Now, the, the, the irrigation tower is not going to supply the preservation factor, uh, factories that are making the soup. They'll, they'll still require trucks. But I think we're probably stretching our water limits here. Let me just check the storage. No water being stored here at all. Let's check our warehouse. Well, there's 68 water being stored there, but I'll bet that will go down. If I sped up time, it's now at three times speed. I'll bet we would see that number. Eh, it's going up. It's, it's hovering at least at break even, so I'm not going to worry about the water right now. Moving on to something else to build. Oh, we just researched the olive oil factory. Uh, olive oil. So now we can go to factories, go to, I believe that's made at a food factory. I'm almost sure, but let me just, let me just triple check here. So back to the tech tree, go to the produce uh, that is made at a food factory. Yes, it tells me right there, able to produce olive oil at food factory. Let me just slow this back down a little bit. In fact, if we're going to be doing new construction, we should always pause before doing the new construction. And here's why. Here's the undo tool down at the bottom of the screen here. But you can only undo stuff that was done during while the game was paused. You can't undo stuff if the game is running. So we're going to pause and then we're going to go to factories and we're going to go to food factory and taking advantage of the existing uh, recycling plant here or or it, air purifier plant we're going to build one of those we're going to build one close to that and then build another one close to that and then probably build another one we're right at the edge of the warehouse's range though so let's see if we can do this another way yeah that's still within the air the warehouse's range and still probably within range of the air purifier here so i'm actually going to build four of these and if we have to put down more olive oil fields, we can. R to bring up the roads. Make sure we hook everything up to a road. Okay. All four of those are hooked up to the road. Now, what that's going to do is that's probably... I'll go ahead and speed time up again. But what that's probably going to do is use up all the olives from the olive field, which is not going to leave any leftover for sale at the market, at the farmer's market. And remember, the name of the game here is to satisfy as many of the demands here in Kansas City as possible. Not necessarily fully supplied, but supplying them enough to make an impact and make them happy with us. So back to the farmer's market here. There, olives are still fully demanded, even though we've already been selling them some. And olive oil is, of course, fully demanded because we just built the factories. They probably haven't even gotten their first shift, shipment of olives yet. But I think what we want to do is build another olive field to balance out, you know, to at least supply. I'm just looking for a place to do this here. I think we could build another olive farm, olive orchard over here. I've already researched the technology that allows us to build five fields. You start off being able to only build three. But that dude now has five. And because I copied him to make that, I copied Orchard 1. He should already have the destination set up. Which they don't. Uh, he's... I never set a destination for this. I just let it all go through the warehouse. Which is fine because, it can, as you can see, traffic is not an issue around the warehouse right now. One thing I can do to ease any future traffic constrictions is change these roads to two lane. Since, so it's one way, two lanes. 
And we're getting a little traffic buildup here, but that's because we just did a bunch of construction. So it's kind of, it's just catching up with all the new construction. Then this warehouse will start accumulating more and more olives. We'll have more olives here that can go to be, to be sold at, in town at the grocery store. So we're gonna have to set up a route. We'll set up a destination. Hold on, click on storage, click on the olives. That automatically jumps us to the destination screen and we'll just click on the farmer's market for that. And then go back here, click on storage, click on the olive oil, which is now being stored here after being produced there and click on the grocery store to deliver the olive oil to my grocery store and here come the first ship the trucks bring an olive oil to the grocery mm -hmm. store and we'll see a nice green number pop up there after they've all made their delivery telling us how much money we've made from the olive oil nice green big green number popping up this is something i i i urged the devs to change a little bit since right from the beginning we need more positive feedback we need big green numbers telling us how much we're earning because every once in a while you're going to see a lot of red you'll see red numbers popping up all the time there we go so like i'm sorry you missed that but it was like a, I, I zoomed out right as it had hit but it was like 166 grand from our olive oil at the grocery store so we're doing pretty well we got we now have soup and olive oil going to our grocery, our brand new grocery store that's going to help our town grow. In fact, our town's growing fast now. Look, it's it's got skyscrapers coming in. Good, 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 good. We got a messy intersection here. I might try to do something about that at some point, but it's not too bad right now. Thanks for watching, guys. This was just a quick reminder that this game is out there and it is fun and it is addictive and it is continually being improved by the developers. It looks great. It sounds great. Uh, the, the systems are working great. It's a lot more accessible for new players who want to play, who want to try it out. So I, I strongly encourage you to give it a shot if you think this kind of thing might interest you. Because it's fun. And, and I'm making, I made almost $700,000 last month. I'm sure we'll break a million soon, as soon as we bang out this next batch of, of uh, research. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the rise of industry. Maybe I'll do some more of these. Um, stay profitable, industrialists.